Boston Cardinal Sean O'Malley led Sunday Mass at a church about three miles from the Vatican. He is one of dozens of cardinals celebrating Mass at churches throughout Rome. Catholics filled the pews knowing they might be watching the next Pope. Let us pray that the Holy Spirit illumine the church to choose a new Pope who will confirm us in our faith and make more visible the law of the good shepherd. The Cardinals will start the search for a new leader when the conclave begins on Tuesday. Final preparations are underway at the Sistine Chapel. Jamming equipment is installed to prevent electronic eavesdropping. But the election process itself is far from high tech. Workers set up the chimney and stove that will burn white smoke, alerting the world there is a new pope. In the past century, no conclave has lasted more than five days. But this time, there's no clear front runner. And that has many Catholics speculating about how long this election process will take. I think it's going to take a while. About two or three days. I'd say probably about six days. It, it, it's going to take a little bit for Timothy Dolan to get elected. New York's Cardinal Timothy Dolan and O'Malley are being discussed as possibilities. But an American is not what locals in Rome have in mind. We're rooting for an Italian, Alessandro Coco says. 115 Cardinals will vote. The candidate who receives two-thirds of those votes will become the next pope. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, Vatican City.